Hi everybody, it's Kika Ray, your lifestyle blogger, and I wanted to do just a quick video just to give you just a little update when you are shopping for things to kind of upgrade your RV. So what I mean by that is I purchased my RV Rhoda um, used, she's a 2000 Shasta, and one of the things, even though she's in good shape and she looked good on the outside, you know, I did the whole videos on how I fixed her up on the inside. Now I'm to the point where I'm ready to update the outside of her. So that means, you know, the wearing paint, I want that updated. The wearing decals that's on the outside of her, I want those taken off and for her to be updated. And so tried a few routes. I went to some paint experts and got quotes anywhere from $5,000 to $10,000 to paint Rhoda. Too high. And then I went to um, a couple of graphic people to talk about the graphic decals, thinking maybe that I could just have her wrapped all together since she's fiberglass. And they were upward of $7,000 to do that. Um, so one of the things I wanted to say is when you have an RV, no matter what year it is, if it's old or new, people are looking to make money off of you. So it's very important that you really do your research and really research every inch of what you want done. I'm not saying listen to them and not have anything done because people are going to advise you against doing it, um, especially if you want to do something fun. But update your RV by all means, because that totally improves the resale value of, of your RV if you want to upgrade to something later on newer. I mean, at least you'll have a very nice looking RV um, that you can sell. So you want to make sure that you keep it nice and updated. But really do your research so, and your homework so that you know what you're getting into. And honestly, you may have to do a lot of the work yourself. That's just what it's all boiling down to for me. Some of the work you may have to do yourself, which may make you feel a lot better about it because of the simple fact is if you do the work yourself, um, you don't have anybody to blame if you mess up or if it comes out great, that's pat yourself on the back for that. So that may be something that may um, end up happening is... Oops, you may have to end up doing the work yourself. So just prepare yourself for that. I just wanted to make this video because I felt it's very important. Everybody that I talk to, everywhere I bring my RV, everything that I'm running into points to just them wanting a lot of money just to do anything with an RV. And it's ridiculous because it first started out with my outside mirror. And someone said, oh, it'll take weeks and weeks before we can get the mirror. Someone quoted me. $500, just ridiculous prices. No, we can't take the mirror out. We need to replace the whole thing. It was just ridiculous. So I took my time and I did my research and I looked online and I found a mirror for $27 and it worked and I put it on and it's fine. And I was able to drive out of town and it's, it's a great mirror. I mean, it's even better than the one that I had. So make sure you take your time and do your research. You'll be happy that you did. So no one's taking advantage of you because people are going to look to take advantage of you. That's just what happens when you own an RV. So a lot of the work that you're going to have to do, it's just like when you get your house. When you buy a house, you're going to have to constantly work on it to make it nice and make it yours and make personalize it. Same thing goes for an RV. To personalize it, make it yours and make it what you want it to be, you're going to have to do a lot of the work and not rely on other people to do it because they're going to charge you a crazy arm in the leg. So... Just wanted to make this video and let you know that I have some more um, updates coming for you, um, but I want to show you kind of what I'm doing as far as my research, so keep watching. Okay guys, so the first thing that I did um, before even going to these graphic peoples or painting people, I went online and kind of looked at different RVs because I want my RV to match the tow car that I now have. So I looked at some different various pictures and I printed them out and um, just to kind of get what I want to feel for what I want and be able to communicate that with someone that I'm looking to do the work. But now that I'm finding out that I'm going to have to do most of the work, I kind of know where I want to go and what I want to do. I just want to make sure that I have the right supplies 
and that I prep properly and I do everything um, the way it needs to be done. So just let me show you kind of what I printed out from online and we'll go from there. So this is a picture of an RV and a tow car. I really don't like that. I think that's hideous because once the tow car is disconnected from this RV, they are driving around in a prettiest, pretty hideous uh, Jeep. I don't like the, the way that looks. This is more along the lines of what I'm looking for. My actual um, tow car looks like this, but it's in black instead of the gray. And then as you can see what they did, they did some kind of um, decals for their RV and they incorporated the white and the gray. It looks like a little bit of black there, but it's nice. It all matches. So that's what I want to do. I'm looking to match my RV with my tow car. This is another one. It's kind of nice. Um, the RV and the tow car match. I think that's a little bit too much, but it's nice. I only need a couple colors. So that's my tow car. So that's what I am looking to change Rhoda. Here's another picture of her. So hopefully with what I have planned, what I think I'm going to do is first start out by removing all of the old weather decals that's on the outside of Rhoda. So I have some suggestions from people on how to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and try that and get all these decals removed. Now, the only thing is once the decals are removed, the nice paint that's up underneath there is going to show through. So it's you're going to still kind of see the wording and the outline of the decals and that kind of thing because the actual paint job on Rhoda is old and so it's weathered. And so you'll be able to see the difference that, yes, she did remove something from that RV. But I'm going to go ahead and just start with a clean slate, get all the decals removed. So that's my first goal of doing that. And then after I do that, I need to research different paints because Rhoda is white. So I want her to be white again, but nice, even, all over white. So I want to do that. The bottom part of her is gold and that gold is chipping. So now I know that I do not want to go with a gold or black or a darker paint. I want that to be white as well. So I want to start with a clean slate, remove the decals and then get Rhoda painted all white. Rather, I have to do that myself or have hire someone to do it. I don't know. I'm not at that point yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start with removing the decals first. And then after she's painted, I know that I need to recaulk around her edges and different things like that because the caulking that's on there now is like black and weathered and gross. So I can peel some of that off and then just recaulk with a nice white silicone. So I'm going to get that done and I can do that myself. And then after that, I can order some black decals that matches the car and then get that put on Rhoda. So that way they both match. So I think that's the route I'm gonna go. That's the most easiest way. Not sure who's gonna paint her yet. I will cross that bridge when I get to it. But the first and the foremost and the biggest thing is doing some research first on the paint and how to prep Rhoda for that and then how to remove these decals. So I'm working on that. So keep watching. Okay, so these are just a few things that I've already had here in the RV. I got these, the sanders. Um, so I'm going to try that first to see if I can do it. I'm probably cut the sander in half and just go ahead and go at the, the uh, decals on the side and just see if I can start removing it with that. Um, I tried to scrape it with my fingernail and it looked like they were coming off. So this might actually work pretty nice to get most of it off anyway. I have this paint stripper. Not too sure how that will work. Um... It's not actually paint that the decals are on with. So that might not work. But I do have that just in case. I have this scraper thing that I've been using. I have this, which is kind of nice, this brush. And I just got this from the dollar store. But it's hard and it's kind of nice. Then I got this Gooby Gone stuff. And that may work. Um, it's Pro Power. It works for a lot of other goop and goo and all that stuff. So that might work. But I'm kind of leaning towards just starting out first with this um, sander and just seeing what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and go at it and try that first. And then I will see um, how it turns out. Keep watching.
Okay guys, this is what I did so far. So I used some paint stripper and I just sprayed it on the decals. And then they just started buckling up because this is a fiberglass finish. It did not do anything to the fiberglass. So it just started buckling up and the started peeling right off. I still got a little spot right there. But I pretty much got it all off down here. I still got a finish up top. And I ran out, so I got to go get some more paint stripper. And then, show you around the back. I got, was able to get it off the back. That's the paint stripper still on. I'm going to come back out and kind of wash it to get all that paint stripper off. And then it started peeling here, but I didn't have enough paint stripper to spray on. And here. So I still got to do this side yet. And then up there towards the top. So hopefully soon I can get all that finished. But this side looks pretty good. So this baby is going to be all white pretty soon. And then I'm going to have my own decals added to it so that it matches my tow car. But I'm just going to let this sit for a little while. I'm going to go in the house take a break and then come back out and finish. <laughs> 